So you know how this works, right? If I learn something, you learn something, and I learn how to make SOAP API requests in Power BI and Python, so I'm going to show you. This video is for Power BI, the next one will be for Python. Let's get started. So a SOAP API is similar to the REST API, but it just has another protocol. So you do the calls differently, basically. And uh, we're going to learn how to do it here, because even though there is no connection for it, like a connector, you can still code the web connectors so you can get these things in. Okay, so I found on Web3 Schools some SOAP APIs that you can play with. And this is a service that will convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. So we're going to use it for demonstrations. This is how the documentation would look like. Here we have two endpoints which means that we have like two different services. One is to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit and the other one Fahrenheit to Celsius. So you need to choose which one you want. We're going to do Celsius to Fahrenheit because I know Celsius, but I don't know Fahrenheit and work with it. Okay, so this uh, requires a parameter and the parameter is the Celsius temperature. Often you can actually write in here. So you say, I want to convert 20 degrees Celsius into Fahrenheit, you click invoke and it should work. Unfortunately, it doesn't. I don't know why, but it will work in Power BI later on, so don't worry. So, what you need to do is to, the, what they are telling you here is there are two methods. You have SOAP 1.1 or 1.2. Choose the one you want. We're going to, to pick the one, the first one, but the methods are the same. And what we need to do <laughs> is make this a little bit bigger so you see something. So, we need to convert this into a web call. So we're going to go Power BI and see how we do this. Okay, so you're going to create a blank query, which is what I have here. Go to the advanced editor and what we're going to do is do a web call. So we're going to do web content. And then for web content, you provide an URL. And then we're going to provide two parameters to the body of the URL call. One is going to be the um, uh, content, so the bulk of the call, and we need to convert this text to binary. And inside, don't worry, we are going to work through this. We're going to put this soap envelope. It will make sense in just a second. And then we're going to put the headers which is going to be a list that we're going to define called options, okay? So now we have three things that we need to fill in. We need to fill in the URL, we need to fill in the SOAP envelope, and we need to fill in the options. Now let's go back to the service to see which one is which one. So first we need to construct the URL. If this invoke thing would have worked, you could have copy pasted it, but as it doesn't work, we need to work it out, but it doesn't really matter. Actually, we have it in here. This is the URL that we need, exactly that one, but you can fill it in from pointing the host with the post action. It's the same, right? You can see there, but we have it in here, so let's grab it. So this is our URL. So we're going to go back to Power BI, and we're going to define the URL as the link that we just copied. The next thing that we need to define is this SOAP envelope. What is that? So the SOAP envelope is this part, okay? And we just go into copy it and then we need to escape a few things just so it can be read properly. So we're going to go here, we're going to add the next part, we're going to put it in here. We need to modify it a little bit so it can be read. This is the name that we gave to the variable, so we need to use the same in here, equal. And then this part actually we don't need. You can copy it, but we don't need, we will specify it into the header. And as you can see, it doesn't work to have that and that, you need to escape it. So we're going to encode the double quote this way with hashtag 0, 0, 0022, and then we need to cross the parentheses. 
I'm going to put it there, I'm going to put it there, I'm going to put it there. You need to escape all of them. So you need to find everyone, put it in there. Uh, that one we need to escape probably, yes. Let me check. Yes, obviously. Delete, put it there. And then the last one we need to escape are those ones. Right? The comma. And now we have hard coded. We, we need to replace the string with a value. We're going to hard code it to begin with 20 Celsius, but then we will create a parameter, you know? Okay, the last thing that we need is the option. So let's go back to the source and see what is needed. So here we need to have content type. Thankfully, the content length is not needed. Sometimes you need to um, do that, calculate it yourself, but in this case, it's not necessary. So this is the only parameter that we need for our options, which it makes everything a lot easier. So we're going to go copy that and then go back to Power BI. And then we're going to do options. Option is going to be a list. In this case, there's going to be just one item, but it could be more. And then we're going to copy again. Make sure that you escape it, the parameters correctly in Power Query. There's hashtag and then double quotes, right? We only have one. And now we have options, we have SOP envelope and we have URL. So the last thing that we need to do, or maybe this will work, let's see. Source, source, source. Let's give it a go. Edit credentials, anonymous. And here we have a result. We know that it's an XML, so you can right click an XML. And we've made an error, obviously. Uh, let's see where. So our headers are gone for whatever reason. Headers, options. Okay, I'm not sure why they disappeared. But now we have it back and it's running. So you have to navigate through the XML document. And then we have 68. So 20 degrees Fahrenheit is 68. No, 20 degrees Celsius is 68 Fahrenheit. Now, obviously, C2F. So we don't want to hard code anything, so we're going to go to Manage Parameters, and we're going to do Celsius. And here is going to be Text, and we're going to do minus 20, or minus 10. So now we need to put the parameter in here. So you need to escape these like that, and then uh, Celsius, Celsius, and then you do like that, done, 14, easy, very, very cool. Okay, so this is for anonymous SOP. There are obviously different ways to authenticate the same as for REST APIs. You could have basic authentication, OAuth, you know, there are a million ways. If you have a basic authentication, the only thing that you need to do is to add here on the options, the authentication tag. I can show you, you can put uh, whatever the, you know, the SOAP API authentication is requiring you to do. You need to read always the instructions. It's probably going to be basic, and then here you have to put the username and password encoded in Base64. So go to the web, Base64, and then you have to do Base64 encoded. Don't write this. You have to encode it, and then you put the username and then password. I didn't find, unfortunately, any source that, free source or available source that had basic authentication, so I cannot demo it for you. But again, get username and password, go to any service. Maybe I can show you that. Encode Base64. So you search for Encode Base64 and then you find a service that is not annoying. 
I found that this was, was not with you know a million cookies and horrible stuff. You put the username and password and then encode. And whatever it comes here, you go back to Power BI and you put all that stuff in there, right? So whatever it is, your username and password, and then it will work. You still have to authenticate anonymously because you are passing the username and password through the web call. Power BI will still ask you and you st still have to say anonymous, okay? So that's how we do it. So the next video, I'll show you how to do it in Python.